16 Canva create features that you must know. Hey guys, it's Shan from nkacademy.com and today in this video, I'm going to cover you up with 16 brand new features that have evolved out of the Canva create event. And this is going to be the most extensive video that you can find on this Canva create updates. Now, I have actually classified these features into different ways like image features, video features, video editor features, designers feature and also the Canva AI feature. So this is going to be an extensive video and after this you would need to learn from anywhere else. So that being said, if that sounds interesting to you then please stick on with me till the end of this Canva create features tutorial. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to this channel because this is the only channel that you need to stay ahead of this race with AI. So that being said, without further ado, let's jump over to my laptop and let's start. Hey, so welcome to this Canva create tutorial. And in here, the first thing that I'll show you is the section that features the different little voice features that have been added with Canva after the Canva create event, right? So first of them is addition of AI voice that can actually give you voiceover using AI. So for this, we'll go over to the videos. And from here, I'm going to actually choose any of these template videos. Just for example, say this one. And as you can see over here, this is the little video over here. So if you play this, you can see there is no sound as of now because this is a template now i want to give a voice over to it right so what i can do is that i can give it in a couple of ways so to add a voice we just need to go over to apps right and in here we need to search for an app called voice and just hit on enter and in here you will find something called ai voice right just click on that and in here you just need to enter the text that you want so in here i have entered the text like canva has launched amazing ai features that can change the way you work right then in here, you can actually choose any language that you wish to say I'm going for English United States. And as soon as I choose a language, I would see the available voices over here. Now you can just hit on any of the voice to hear a preview. Canva has launched amazing AI features that can change the way you work. Right. So you can actually go ahead and listen up to different previews Canva as well. And all of AI these have different genders as well. You so you are not limited in any ways. So let's go for this woman voice. Uh, this one that we have selected, right? And hit on generate AI voice. And as soon as I've done that you can see the AI voice has been added to the timeline at the position where the cursor was right so if I want to reposition it I can just do that and let's Canva play this. has launched amazing AI features that can change the way you work so you can see this looks amazing right so this is exactly how you can add AI voices in any language that you want to with your videos or it can work on any image as well so it's perfectly doable now let's head over to the second voice feature that we have which is noise cancellation or noise reduction so for this again we'll go over to video and this time I'm going to upload my own video over here. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's click on upload and let's upload a file. Now I have created a particular video for this. So let's add this and let's actually click on this and boom, it has been added over here as you can see, right? Now let me resize this. So there you go. Now let's actually play this video on Canva create and the brand new features and the AI features that Canva create has introduced. These are 15 super useful features. So you can see there is a little noise over here. So what we can do now is that we can go over to this audio tool and in here we have a thing called enhance voice we can just toggle this on and you can see this is being applied so let's wait and boom you can see it has been done so now let's play this hey guys i'm recording this little video on canva create. and you can see there is a lot of difference between the sound quality right now in the same way you can go over to an audio tool and even extract the audio from a video file as well that is if you want only the audio you can do it as well so now we will move over to closely related feature which is ai video editing using canva now so that was it regarding the audio features that is adding ai voices and in enhancing your voices but now i am going to reveal some magical video editing features that has been added so the first of them that has been added is video background removal now it was available as well previously but uh, previously you could do it only up to 90 seconds but now you can do it up to 10 minutes right so for this we'll just select this video and in here we get this bg remover just click on that and as you can see the background removal process has started so we need to wait a little and boom there you can see the background has been removed so now if i play this hey guys i'm recording this so you can see it's a perfect transparent background 
Now say if I want to add this to the background, I can just click on this and this will come up over here and then we can actually right click on this, right? And then go over to layer and then we can hit on send to back, right? But before that, I just wanted to align this to page so that it actually covers up the entire background like this and then right click and hit on layer and hit on send to back and boom, this would be now the background that I will shoot in, right? So in this hey way, guys, you can I'm actually this go little... ahead and change any background that you can have on your videos. Now, apart from this, it has also added the brand new karaoke style captions to your video as well. If you want to add the captions right inside your video, you just need to go over to this text, click on that. And in here, you just need to come over to this captions, click on that. And in here, you can select all of the thing or if you want to select any part of the video, you can do that as well. So let's actually go ahead and select the video and hit on generate caption. So as you can see, the captions has been created. So let's play. Hey guys, I'm recording this little video on Canva create and the brand new features and the AI features that so you can see the captions are coming up. Now, if we want to edit the captions, we can just select this captions part over here and then go over to this animate. Click on that. And in here, you get this brand new animations, right? You can see over here, you can go for reveal in where you would see as and when the things are told, these are going to be revealed. You can also go ahead and select highlight when you will get the karaoke style thing. And in here, we can go ahead and actually change anything like the intensity of the highlight. We can change the color of the highlight. Say I want to highlight with red. And then you can go also go ahead and change the other stuff as well. So you can see this all appears seamlessly. Now let's play this and see whether this happens right or not. Hey guys, I'm recording this little video on Canva create and the brand new feature. So you can see that, right? So it works seamlessly and you can go ahead and actually create this kind of karaoke style captioning as well so now that that we are almost done with the different video features now it's time for us to actually head over to the image features that we have so let's go over to the image features and check out the brand new image features in canva create so the first feature with it the image feature is designer image for this we just need to go over to any image that we have right select the image and head over to edit click on that and as soon as you do so we get this little feature over here in here you can see one thing called adjust now these were available previously as well so the brand new thing that we'll see is under adjust click on that and in here you can see there are plenty of things you can select the area that is all or you can select it by click once you click on this you would see what are the clickable things that are there in the image like you can click on this car and you can change it as well you can change the foreground right whatever is there on the foreground you can go ahead and change or you can even select the background and you can change the background as well all of that can be done also there is going to be a brush feature as well which has been rolled out but uh, depending on the country you are in sometimes some features come up a little later so the brush feature will come up in india a little later but there it has been actually introduced wherein you can select a particular portion with a brush kind of thing as well so that's quite amazing now the next image feature that we have is called the photo editor and in here you can see it from the canva homepage. so just click on that and in here you can find the different things that you can do with it you can blur your image you can magic grab grab the text you can crop magic eraser that is you can have a brush and erase any part of the uh, image and then you have a background remover as well so let's go ahead and upload our photo and click on open and boom you can see it has come up over here so now we can actually go ahead and do all of these stuffs right you can see it from here so let's go for the magic eraser just for an example and in here we'll get a brush right so i want to remove this part so let's go ahead and actually highlight this and uh, this part as well so let's click on erase and boom there you can see it has been erased right so this is the way you can do this now apart from this there are plenty other features as well now one of the features that is going to come soon is background generation and uh, this is going to be rolled out this has been rolled out already in few countries but it is yet to come over to india and uh, in there you can actually go ahead and generate a background as well so that uh, once that comes up i'll be actually creating another video on that and i'll show you that as well don't worry now another feature that canva has introduced is the canva sheets and for that we can come over here and in the home page we can find the thing called sheet as you can see over here just click on that and this you can think like your google sheet or like microsoft excel right you can have your data over here you can actually go ahead and do all of the stuff so 
over here. So let's go ahead and actually import a template. And there you go. The template has been added right now. What we can do is that within this template, we can actually add formulas. You can see if we want to actually put out formulas, we can do that, right? So in here, if we want a total, then we can just come over here, select the cell and then go over to actions. And in here, we can have this thing called formula or even magic formulas, right? In the magic formulas, we can just type in prompts or in simple language what we want and it would create it in formulas we need to write the excel formulas that we are used to right and in the magic formula as you can see i want the sum of all values in column e right and hit on enter and there you go there is the answer and this is the formula that you want so i just need to hit on insert into e23 and boom the formula has been added so you don't need to know any part of sheets or excel the ai has been incorporated right in over here now this doesn't stop over here you can also go ahead on the actions and you can generate magic charts as well from here just click on magic charts and just select the kind of chart that you want to and you can do it for yourself so that's how easy it is now you can also go ahead and you can insert magic insights as well you can have magic right as well all of that is possible so this is a brief little tutorial on sheets let me know on the comments if you want a complete tutorial on sheets i'll try to cover it up with a the total dedicated tutorial now moving over to the next feature that it has it's it's typographic feature now for this we'll go over to something like uh say for example any of the designs just click on that right say i want this design just for an example and then hit on customize and you can see it has loaded over here right so now we can go ahead and select this and as soon as we do so you will see there is a thing called advanced formatting and in here we are going to get it right say for example i want to write down the einstein equation e equals to mc square right but here you can see the square is not coming up in a proper way i want it as a superscript right so for that i'll select this and hit on this advanced uh, formatting and then in here we can find this text position there is a superscript and there is a subscript so if we select superscript you can see this has come over the cursor has been positioned at the top right you can find this so now if i go, i'm going to type 2 you can see it appears like mc square right now if i want to write anything as a subscript i can again come over to here and then i can go over to subscript and in here i can write anything that i want and that would be added as a subscript so that's how it works and that's how easy it is to add superscript and subscript this is going to be very very important if if you are doing some mathematical equation or if you are writing formulas on chemistries or chemical compounds like that this is going Going to be extremely effective way right then on the advanced formatting itself you get another thing which is called typography and in here sometimes what happens is that between letters the spaces are not equal right so to maintain that spaces you can turn on the kerning and this will make sure that all the letters are equispaced right so this is going to be a good one as well this can actually save a lot of effort otherwise you need to write them in a text box and then place them uh, in a perfect way it takes up a lot of time and effort right so that's one click done now moving over to the next feature that we have is called canva ai and you can find it over here just click on that and this will open up something just like chat gpt right you can see over here now with this you can actually he help it design you can create an image you can draft a document or you can even take help to code as well all of that is pretty much doable now let's go for design for me and then once we select that it's asking what kind of design we want so let's give it a prompt so i wanted to create a welcome post for new members joining my facebook group right so a uh, design for me i have given and then i want a social media and then the format i will choose a facebook post right and then once done i'll hit on submit i can even communicate it within voice as well i can also go ahead and add a media based on which it would design us right so it can also take reference so all of that is possible so let's hit on enter and as you can see it's creating the post so let's wait and boom you can see it has got all of these post ideas right so you can actually go ahead and choose any one of them or if you don't like you can actually further communicate with them to get a better thing right you can add with warm colors you can add a welcome banner all of that can be done right so let's go for with pictures of welcome banner and it is going to come up with the suggestion there you go welcome to our community so this one looks amazing we can just have it we can take it onto canva for further editing as well if we want to add our logos and all and personal 
personalize it we can do that as well so that's a pretty much no brainer thing to have so this can make task a lot easy for you as a designer now in the same way you can actually go ahead and you can actually design your images right so let's go ahead and create an image and this time we are going to choose a style say for example let's go for a cinematic one and then the aspect ratio we are going to have it uh, say uh, normal landscape mode so i've given a dog and its owner sitting in a meadow under starry sky in the evening right now let's select the aspect ratio as uh, the landscape one and click on submit and you can see over here it has created some amazing amazing pictures right these are really beautiful and you can see these are more than realistic ones that we have and we can actually check around which one looks better so this one looks amazing and both of them are into the photo and there's a sun setting as well on the background this looks a little more ai kind of thing again this one looks good as well so you can go ahead and use any of them this is quite amazing i must say now apart from this you can also help take help to create a doc now on the doc type you can choose anything like a blog post a summary outline social post description article strategy story script pitch caption all of these you can see there are plenty of things so let's go ahead and select a blog post and let's write a blog post on influence of ai on designing so i have said influence of ai on graphics design right and hit on submit so you can see it has created this blog over here so let's click on this and look at this it has this um, headlines then introduction and then a detailed blog right wherein it has actually covered everything so you can go ahead and use this anywhere that you want to you can even go ahead and interact with prompt like if you want to elaborate a particular portion you can do that if you want it to add images you can tell it to do that as well so all of that is quite doable now that being said that's how easy it is to work with canva ai and uh, apart from all this it can also go ahead and code for you as well just hit on code for you and then say for example i want to create a grocery list builder i can just hit on enter and you can see it is going to design it for us in a few minutes so you can see it has started writing the code for us and you can see it's an html code that means you can actually take this and put this on any website that you wish to and it would be added on that so this is quite amazing stuff to have and boom there you go it has created this little shopping list for barbecue chicken where depending on the number of people these ingredients will change so let's for an example say we want to do it for two men and you can see over here these has changed right so now once you are done with the shopping you can just go ahead and check mark them so that you are never short of any items right so this is quite amazing you can do it for fun you can do it on serious business all of that can be done you can add this on your grocery website as well if you have a grocery business business you can add this on your grocery website and you can feel the kind of feeling that it can give to your end users so this is quite amazing and you can even go ahead and print this shopping list as well for offline things so opportunities are again endless so that being said that's it for this canva create brand new features tutorial and i really hope that you guys have enjoyed it if you have helped me with a like and let me know in the comment section if you want me to create a detailed tutorial on any of these features so i would be going ahead and creating them for you and also as i told you during this little tutorial that there are some features that has been rolled out but are yet to be available in india since i'm from india i can only show you the features that are currently available so as and when they become available don't worry i will also create another video and i will link it with this one also on that video i'll link this video as well so if you are checking out remember to check out the description if and when those those features become available i'll create a video on them as well so that being said it brings me to an end of this tutorial and uh, if you're new to this channel again don't forget subscribing to this channel we'll meet again pretty soon somewhere over the internet until then please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to make money online signing off is shine from in academy take care bye bye